Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Win Win Women Presents. This week, I have the beautiful opportunity of introducing to you the lovely and fantastic Denise Millet. Welcome to the show, Denise. Hi, Susie. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, we're thrilled that you're here. So Denise runs a show that is called Marketing Matters on the Win Win Women TV network. And this show is awesome because she makes marketing simple. We all know it's super, super complicated and it has so many different facets. I shouldn't say it's complicated. I should say it can be complicated. But Denise, you're really good at making it simple for us. Tell us just a little bit about your show and maybe what we can expect from an episode of your show. Sure. Um, thank you for asking. I, I started Marketing Matters because I, I have a love for marketing and technology. It's my field. And I see so many people that get, get so confused and frustrated and stressed out by all of that tech. And they don't use some of the tools that are out there that are fantastic for your business online. So I really encourage people to do that. So with the show, I'm really trying to take bite-sized pieces of marketing concepts and technology platforms and tools and try to present them in such a way that they're understandable for people beginning and trying to put it all together. So that's how I started the show. I love it. And I like that you use different tools and you explain how to use these things and stuff like that. So if you guys need some different marketing from what you're doing, or maybe just a deeper dive into the ones that you're currently using, you can of course find all of Denise's current shows that are previous replays of her shows that she's already done at her show. If you go to winwinwomen.tv or winwinwomen.com, and then you can head to marketing matters and you can find all of her awesome replays there. She's got things like social media, things like building your list, finding your voice, e-commerce, all of those things. She's covered it all, you guys. So you can definitely find her there. And of course, the live show airs on Mondays at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. And every week is followed by that live Q&A session. So if you guys want to pick her brain a little bit, spend a little time with Denise and ask specific questions, this is such a fabulous opportunity for you. Again, one more time, that's 3 p.m. Pacific. 6 p.m. Eastern. Right. So Denise, tell us about you as a person. Like what, what makes you you? Tell us a little bit about Thanks maybe what brought you into this work. Well, I, I spent uh, my last corporate stint was installing software and training people how to use it in um, hospitals, major hospitals. Mm-hmm. And I love the training piece. I love you know, again, when people get flustered, these are doctors, nurses, PhDs, you know, like, and they would be so frustrated by technology. And I I just was like, this can't be. So I get real uh, satisfaction from seeing their light bulb moments when they get it. And when it's not that hard, it's just that there's people that use jargon and they make it complex and they make it confusing when you just have to speak English to people (laughs) and and (laughs) present it in, in pieces that they can get. And relatable, and I love doing that. So I did that for a bit, and then I shifted out um, in 2019 to build my own business because I was interested in marketing and copywriting and search engine marketing and all that stuff. So I I went off on my own, and then the pandemic hit. So um, <laughs> I've just been building the business, and then I I um, was lucky enough to be connected with Paula and Win Win Women. So I got I began as a founder on the platform. So it's, it's been interesting to try to formulate all my ideas and get it out there. So that's amazing. Uh, yeah. I love it. So your most recent stint was this um, marketing and, and helping these medical professionals. Uh, what did you do before that? Tell us the pre marketing oh. Denise. <laughs> well, the pre marketing Denise was an IT consultant. So, um, okay. and I was home with my kids. And I went to graduate school and I did a bunch of other stuff. So my training's in computer science and um, that's where my career has always been. And um, the marketing piece came later. So while I was raising my kids, I was at home and volunteering on boards and on the tech committee and doing, you know, installing software in schools and doing all sorts of piecework, project work. Mm -hmm. And then I went back to graduate school. And after that, um, you know, I went and did the corporate stint. So awesome. I've been busy, but I had enough uh, of the corporate giving all of my person to someone else's dream. You know, like I like helping people realize their dreams, but 
dedicating everything I had to someone else's uh, just wasn't where I wanted the last act of my life to be. So I decided to go on my own and uh, see if I could affect change and help people in a different way. That's amazing. I like that you're saying that you wanted to do spend the same time doing the same work, but instead of building someone else's business, you want to build your own. I personally right. have found that building a business has been one of the most fulfilling and uh, self-stretching, self-challenging, self-growing experiences <laughs> in my life. So I totally understand yeah. that. And I agree with that. Yeah. And it wasn't as easy. Well, I'm sure, it, I don't know if it was easy, but the whole online change and shift to the virtual shift, not just from the pandemic, but in the last 15 years has really opened up a whole host of things that were never imaginable, you know, 20 years ago. But so the thought of me doing what I'm doing now in my last act, it wouldn't have worked. You know, just none of this stuff existed, platforms for you to reach people, do all those things. So it's amazing how things have changed and shifted. It is so. amazing. And it's awesome how you just go with it. That's one thing that I think a lot of people find slightly frustrating is because once you figure out a tech and then all of a sudden it, it moves forward without you or it changes or something like that. But it sounds like you are really good at just adapting with it and keeping learning. You're just, you're a lifetime student. It sounds like. Nothing uh, is static. There's nothing static in the, in the environment. And I think what I try to do is I try to tell people that you can't chase the latest, like the algorithms and all those things that we hear people talk about if you stick to the fundamentals, like in search, writing good content, being helpful, useful, making sure it's got the right information in it so it's recognized, you're ahead of the game and you're you're evergreen. Whereas if you try to chase numbers and do tactics that might come in and out of fashion that might work for a little while, they're going to go and change the program because they're going to figure out too many people are doing that. And, you know, so don't game the system you know, put good stuff in the library and then people will want it, you know? So, yeah. That's very smart. Yeah. That's really good advice. Um, are there some barriers that you've had to overcome or some things that a lot of the people you work with have to overcome? Are there some, I don't know, some things that a lot of people are, are experiencing or that you personally have experienced that you had to work through, or you found some ways to, to sort of get over those hurdles in, in your experience? Oh, you mean from a business perspective or do you mean from tech perspective and marketing? Uh, either way. Yeah, either way. I, I think what I just talked about with the the, the search marketing, the thing that I'm, I've spent a lot of time talking about recently is findability. Mm. And I meet so many entrepreneurs. I work with entrepreneurs. I work with business owners. And they spend hours creating blogs and podcasts and websites and landing pages and launches and all these things. And yet, if you put their name into Google, nothing, mm. right? And so they're not getting, and, you know, Google had 8.5 billion searches a day as of the beginning of 2022. That's a a lot. That's an audience that you can't mimic anywhere else that you don't have to pay for. So to get yourself included doesn't take very much, just takes a few steps. I mean, there's a whole host of strategy for what to write, what, what your people are looking for, all those things to think about, but you have to have it in there first before you can optimize it. You know, like you have to have it be a part of the game. You got to play to win, right? So <laughs> that is the thing that I get most frustrated by is that the, the, the industry has made it seem so complex that it's out of reach for so many people because they just look at it and it's just too confusing. It's just like expensive. And, and, and really there are simple things, um, simple, basic steps to make sure you're cataloged and you're indexed. And then from there, you can work on improving your visibility and all these other concepts you can learn, but just getting in there. And that's the thing that's been frustrating me the most, honestly, in the last couple months is just seeing and meeting people that are, you know, give their heart and soul, you know, podcasts for two years and maybe two or three episodes are showing up, mm. yeah. you know, and you just, it just breaks your heart because it's like, it really, it doesn't take too much and they've not been getting good advice. And, you know, it just, 
it kind of breaks my heart. So I've been working on trying to make get the message out. You know, I'm actually writing a book about it. And um, I've been doing a few more shows about search and Google and things like that, just trying to bring awareness to it doesn't have to be this big complex thing hmm. that if you could just get the basics in there, you, you start. And then wow. from there it evolves, you know, yeah. so if you were to be able to tell us just maybe I realize this is like the juice of what you do. So I don't want you to give too much away, but if no, you could okay. just tell us maybe one thing, if you were to give us advice, if we are those ones who are struggling for that visibility, what would be just one piece of advice or one thing we could do, one thing we could walk away with and, and incorporate today that would make a difference for us? Oh my goodness. The the easiest one is there, there are a couple of things, but the easiest one is to have a page title and a page description on everything you create. So if you have a website, whatever your platform builder is, there's always a spot for a title for the page and a description. Those are actually what show in search results. They make the link that somebody's going to click on. And Google presents them back and the description underneath. So make them count. Make them include what people are looking for in those pieces so that they can be a potential solution for someone's question with those words or phrases. Well, that was quick and easy. I was expecting a long, intense explanation. You're so quick about it. Oh my gosh, you're obviously good at what you do. This is amazing, Denise. Thank you. Well, I mean, there, there, there are some basic things that really are not rocket science. It's really just nobody's talking about them. They're talking about all this other stuff that's way down the road, or if you're an agency or you're buying advertising, that you need to worry about. But for most small business owners and entrepreneurs or, you know, whoever's out on their own in this online world, the basics is what you need just to get included. And then you learn a little bit more and a little bit more, but just, just to have yourself in there, you know, start with the right basics and you'll, and you'll be able to succeed. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, there's more to learn, but it doesn't, it doesn't happen. Like you don't go up to level 10. You got to start at level one (laughs) and get yourself in there and learn, you know, and slowly you'll get more, but you get benefit from just being in there. You know, you're in the game and there are a lot of people that do so many unique things and there's no one else out there doing them, Hmm. you know, and people are looking for solutions. You know, some of the stats blew me away. Um, the average U.S. adult visits Google three times a day. Wow. Like, oh do you know God. of any website or any audience that you can reach that potentially goes there three times a day? Wow. That's, you know, that's Facebook powerful. only has 195 million users, you know, so like they don't all go there every day, but, you know, so. Awesome. Well, I like that you've made it. Right. So my little milk crate here. Oh, my little seatbelts. <laughs> you make it seem possible. I love it. It's, it's, it um, is. It really is. Fresh air, that's, really. that's me. You know, I, I don't like it to be really complicated. I don't want to be a, when I'm around other technical people who have, who have the training I have, we do have a language. We have a shorthand that people use. But it's not a badge of honor. It's not something that you should go arrogantly. I know more than you know. So I'm going to use these (laughs) anti technical words and use all these acronyms and all this stuff. It's like, seriously, could you just be a human and just talk like human beings talking? Occasionally I fall into it. Occasionally I'll slip a database in there instead of, you know, catalog or whatever. But for the most part, it, it doesn't have to be complicated. So. All you need is to speak English. That was my favorite line from this. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Awesome. Oh, I, God, I wish it was more complex so I could sound like I needed to be like, you know, a genius, but you don't. I think you, the simpler, the better. That's I, that's what I do too, is I simplify health and that's what people need because everything else is just so complicated. Out right. there. I didn't ask you anything way to do it. You. I didn't ask you about anything you do. Yes, so, exactly. Sorry. Awesome. No, that's perfect. Okay. So, um, I mean, other than your amazing, fabulous win-win women show and the free coaching that they get there, where else can we find you, Denise? Um, Actually on my website at dmalay.com. I'm also in Clubhouse um, every day in the morning. Uh, I'm part of a, uh, the My Sexy Business Club 
with uh, Kim White and the group there. And we actually on Tuesdays, I have a website segment that I do where people can ask questions and bring their questions and comments. But we talk about all different marketing and gifting and all sorts of other things. So if you go to Clubhouse and you we're from like eight to 10 every morning. So we're out there and just chatting with all entrepreneurs and business owners. So that's the biggest place to find me. Very cool. Okay. So there's your, your website or your clubhouse. What is your clubhouse handle? Denise Blay. <laughs> I think it's Denise Blay. Perfect. All right. Well, we'll find terrible, it. Like, which handle is which? Oh, yeah, for what sure. What does it match to? Because I started these accounts before I knew they all had to connect. Um, <laughs> hey, we make it work, right? We make it work. Just just search for Denise Malay. I'm sure I'll come Denise up in a Malay. replay somewhere. Or go from my website to Clubhouse and it'll take you to the room. Perfect. It's on our website. Awesome. All right. Thank you so much, Denise. Um, Thank you for setting this up. Say that again. Thank you for setting this up. Of course. Yes. We're happy to have you as part of the Win Win Women group and just spreading your message and making it simpler because everybody needs simplicity in their lives. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you so much for doing this. And if anybody has any questions, please drop them on my Facebook page. I do have a page for Marketing Matters show. Um, happy to answer any questions there too. So awesome. Thanks Perfect. so much. Susie. Okay. You guys will check in one more time on the win-win women network. This is winwinwomen.com. Go to marketing matters and you can catch her live on Mondays at 3 PM Pacific, 6 PM Eastern, or you can catch all of her awesome, amazing replays that are right there on that same link. So thank you, Denise. Happy to have you yeah. here. So grateful for what you're doing and the work that you are so good at and the message that you're sharing. So thank you. Thank you so much, Susie. Okay, you guys, if you once again have any questions about what Win Win Women is or you want to learn more about how you can have a show or how you can find these shows, you can go to winwinwomen.com and there's tons of information there or you can reach out to either um, Denise Millet or me, Susie B, on any social media platform. We would be happy to talk to you more about it. Absolutely. Thanks, you guys, and we hope you have a fantastic week.